Well, hi everybody, and thanks for watching Science at Home. I'm John Banovitz, the Chief Technology Officer at 3M. I'm a chemist by training, and one of the great things about my current job is I get to work with literally thousands of scientists all over the world. Okay. Today, let's talk about two scientific processes, chromatography and capillary action. A great example of capillary action is a tree. How does a tree get its water and nutrients to the top? Gravity is pulling the force of the water down. And today, we'll explore both capillary action and how it can impact as well as chromatography. To start, you'll need filter paper, water, and some markers. So to run the experiment, it's, it's really pretty simple. Just take one of the markers and draw a design on the coffee filter. So I'm gonna draw a little bit of a line there a circle here, a circle here, maybe an arc down here. I drew a little face. Now I'm going to put that into a bowl. Grab just about a teaspoon of water. And I'm going to add it to the center of the filter paper. As you'll see, the water starts the capillary action moving up the filter paper. And it's pulling the ink along with it. And in doing this, it's very much like the action of the tree, pulling water up. It works because of the fine fibers and the filter paper. And so the water is able to essentially almost walk up the filter paper as we go. So while that one is going, maybe we can try with a couple different colors. Maybe we'll try some red. And we'll try blue. and see what happens. Same procedure, I'll put that into the bowl. I'll add just about a teaspoon of water to the center, and we'll see what happens. Now while that's working, I can actually probably show the same phenomena even better using a paper towel. So let me fold the paper towel up here a little bit. And I'll go back to my black marker and I'll color at the bottom the color and I'll just drop that into the bowl for now and add a little water just to the bowl. And then I'll dip it in, and you can see the ink start to separate and start to rise up the paper towel in the capillary action. And if you can see, you can actually see the colors separate a little bit. So you can see the green and the blue starting to separate out of the inks as well as it moves up. So let me grab the first one that we did, and you can start to see how the colors have been separated through the capillary action and the chromatography. Now that works because in the ink, there's multiple different types of ink, each with a different density. So as the water moves up, it starts pulling different inks faster or slower depending upon their densities. That's the principle of chromatography. So by combining both the capillary action with the chromatography, you can make some very um, interesting designs. In fact, a few that I made, Recently, you can see how the colors move up off of the filters and you're left with some very pretty, different designs and views. You can try this at home. You can do different things. Try different markers. Try hot water, cold water, see how the effects are. Lots and lots of different experiments can be done. It all depends on your imagination. And so remember to clean up when you're done the water can be disposed down the sink and rinse out the containers, as well as um, you can recycle the coffee filters, or in my case, you can keep them as a colorful art project themselves. Well, thanks for watching. I'm John Banovitz with 3M, and please check out more videos at Science at Home.